Hi, Carol here and welcome to my craft room. I'm going to tell you this video <laughs> has had its ups and downs. I went to put, um, well like I said I had to redo part two and then I just thought it wasn't right to not show you how you put the pages in the spine. I mean that's a, a real important part of your mini album so I made another spine and I made another uh, you know made it look like we were redoing the spine with the pages and I made them different colors so you could see exactly how to put your spine in here and now it is very late the evening I went out to our local Walmart I had to pick a few things up and went to the craft department and I thought I would share on this one as I'm doing this with you Here's how far we've gotten. Let me just show you quickly. I have the black edges put on the front, the inside, and the reason why you want to just put your, if you're going to do two layers or three layers or however many layers on here, just make sure that one of them, if you're going to do any flip parts, that you keep one page at least not glued down, okay? and we did this first page in here and see on the binding I hope you can see this how the pages are smaller shorter than the main page I really love that so I've been going around and, and this is how it will look when you get all the pages in you'll have one page then two together two together two together and then your back page and you will see it if you can believe this, I just I went to upload the video and my the part 2B that shows just how to do this. It's just a short 15 minute video to show you how to address the pages with your binding. Then we're going to make this awesome faux leather binding. I think you're going to just be mesmerized by it. So, um that I had to upload it again. It had one minute left to go. I went to take my um, mouse and it froze. So now it's on 47% and I'm waiting for it for the second time. Um, so anyway, when I was at Walmart, I love that place, I picked up another bottle of this. I have a smaller one, but I picked up the great big gigantic uh, tacky glue. This is awesome glue for minis and I could have got it half off at Michael's but I, I couldn't wait. I'm very impatient if I want to get something and I knew I was coming home to uh, working on the album. So together we'll just sit here. Maybe I'll do this page with you uh, after I show you a few ideas of collecting bling for any mini album. My decision as of now for the clasp on my mini album and if you're if you sew these are overall clips for overalls let me get this out here I'm going to use this as well so far uh, 79 cents I got this at the thrift store in all different sizes I'm going to cover the gold with matching paper and this is going to be my clasp right here so I'm going to use one of these as a clasp so you can get these at Walmart or any sewing center. So let me put them there and I'll put them in my huge containers over there. I, I have too much bling actually. And then I got out my Suquang tape um, for the edges because I'm really picky on my edges here. Let's hone in. I want my edges to be, to lay flat. So I am putting tape all along the edges of the pages, but I have this uh, three inch Suquang tape, isn't that an awesome roll? And I am now using all tape just for the, the ins, not for these pages, I'll use the tacky glue, but for the pages that I'm going to highly embellish, I got the honk and roll out and that's what I'm going to use. I got out my t 
Tim Holtz vintage photo and a couple of applicators and let's just go over um, I, I'm too tired to really get into designing the book with with uh, you know all of the um, interactive parts and I don't want to mess anything up because it is 10 o'clock and honestly just the preparation for it <clears throat> excuse me can tire one out <laughs> and I want this to be very enjoyable for you that is my number one priority is that you enjoy doing this book now these let me turn it over little magnets they're nice and flat that's why I like using them there they are especially made for books for uh, minis and I can't remember where I ordered them because it was so long ago. I have a lot of them. I just found that one. I always rip them off the box. It's a terrible thing. I got these at Walmart. And what I love about these corners is, if you can see this, I went and picked up some more. Look how flat those embellishments are. They're not huge. And I really love that. Um... I thought me this is Martha Stewart. I'm sorry. I must. Uh, yeah, we saw our Walmart sells Martha Stewart. Uh, I remember going in and picking these up. So I'm going to use that as an embellishment tonight. I went out uh, and picked up some more of these packages. This metal art. Look at these birds. Are they not adorable? Uh, these are $4.97 each at Walmart. I don't see them on sale much. I got the uh, corner edges, the thicker ones. Isn't that awesome? And um, I want to make sure my computer keeps going here. I'm at 57. Um, I got another package of the owls here. They're all over the place because I wanted the clock. And I got another sewing center with the scissors and the sewing because that was the last one that was there. I already have a couple of these, but I just love the sewing machine. And I'm going to do my friend one up. She's a beautiful seamstress, so I'm going to do this book immediately. I'm going to do another one. Picked up another corner edge bling. And I absolutely love these. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this um, right now, but they're, they're like curtain rods, like metal pewter curtain thingies. I, I just don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I love them. And then I got this because I wanted that little um, keyhole thing. There's another one there uh, for this project. So this is what I got tonight and um, at Walmart. I got those. I got my tacky glue. And there's so much in here. Like this is at the dollar store. I want to encourage you now, because these are hard to get, these bottles. You fill them up with all kinds of neat stuff to put on the front of your albums. I got these in five different sizes at the dollar store for a dollar each. This is the largest one. They go right down into the small ones. I got, oh, I, I think I got 20 of them, of the bottles. And, um... I liked this metal frame because I'm going to do some metal art in this book and I thought this would be nice and that was at the dollar store no Michaels Michaels for a dollar I know I only paid a dollar for it. I'm looking through just stuff to watch for when you're doing mixed media and when you go to thrift stores Pick up all the watches you see for the guts of the watches of the watches because look at this this has a gun a rifle two rifles and um, this piece cost me I think it cost me about eight dollars but I didn't care because this is going to look awesome it points north south east west with the end of the rifle and because I um, it has your eagle at the top 
Uh, it has a clock in the back, and then it has all kinds of nifty stuff back there. I don't know how to get at it, but look for this stuff. Um, and this will show you, it's a compass as well. See how it's trying to find uh, the eagle's head points north. I just love it. So look for stuff like that at the thrift stores. We're just going to have a little gab fest. Um, if you can get this uh, water-resistant adhesive tape, I'm going to show you some things we're going to do with this. I just got out my stuff I want to work with on this mini. I have a treasure chest full of wooden objects, all kinds of wood. Uh, the birds I want to use, and we'll get into some. I'm going to do some Copic Air. Um, spraying with the Copic Air. I, got, I know I got this at a thrift store for 10 cents. So many things you can use for this. So I got all of my boxes. I've got them sitting over there. I wanted to show you something else. When I do an album, this is, um, I know you probably be upset because I'm not doing the album on this one, but honestly I'm too tired and I don't want to, you know, get anything messed up. So I, I just sitting here waiting for the, this to upload so I can share it with you. And I want to share my, uh, some of my binders with you. This one is my Heartfelt Creations binder. And I, I go here to find, like, this is for the Romantique Garden collection. This is what I keep. I'm going to try and see if I can show you this. I keep all of my stuff in these kind of binders in Velcro. Uh, can you see that there? Let me get my camera. In Velcro packages. So for this is the key design that we're using here. I'm going to run this die through with my metal up, my metal um, squares. And this is, look at all the keys you'll get out of this die. It's amazing. I'm going to, I have a uh, craft metal. So for this collection, that way I can just slide them in here. And then here are all, because you know me, I have to clean up right after. I cannot go from one thing to another without cleaning up. But all of my measurements are in this folder with the um, design of the burnished key design. And then you just pull it in there. I'm holding the, and there you go. And I will be using this design for the front. So get out some of your dies that make flowers and flourishes. I'm going to be using for sure this one right there. This custom die template. It's the Adriana Lace Flower. And then I keep all of... I'm going to have to bend that down a bit. Here's the, some of the stamps. Look at this one. I'm sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Uh, look at this latch and key die. It's huge. Just look at them there. Aren't they gorgeous? And I, this I use a lot on my mixed media. Oh, this Tim Holtz snuck in here, my alterations. I've never used this Christmas die. It's the stamp in the die. <laughs> And then we get into all of my other dies for heartfelt creations. And um, it's just pages and pages and pages of this six inch binder rings. It's the uh, D ring. So I have this right by me. So I can just reach and grab. And the Velcro, if I want to put anything away that has to do with a certain die, it is right here. And then I store all of them in my expedite. It's clean, it's organized, and I know exactly what's in there. And the binders are different colors, so I know what's in there. Okay, so that's some of the ideas. Then you want to get yourself some punches out. And everybody knows I have about 300 of them. And I chose this one. 
I told you in the other video, I think. Wait till you see what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to make um, a parchment paper envelopes that flip. It's just awesome. You're going to love it in here. This album is going to be absolutely stunning. Not because I did it. Because Heartfelt Creations make it easy. Um, 75. We're up to 75. So, um... I'm looking around and I'm trying to show you um, some of, I picked up, oh yeah, I picked up some more of these uh, for $1.97. They were on $1.97. I always thought they were two bucks. So I got that this evening. You know me, I put everything away as soon as I get in. Um, my papers are over here. And if I may, I love it when I come in to work and everything is clean. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow when I start this project afresh in the morning, I want to finish the whole book tomorrow. And um, a lot of people that do albums, may I jump in and say this to you? As friends, they do hour at a time. So if they do three parts, they do three hours. But my camera will not hold. Um, it only holds 29 minutes in my camera. So... Let me get this up here. Maybe down there. Did I zoom? That's why. There we go. You cannot, I cannot thank everybody enough for, um, I, I'm just for watching my videos and just me knowing that you might do one of these and show me is really exciting. And what else did I do this week? My mom's birthday was yesterday and we went out to celebrate my sisters and I and my son. And that was so much fun. We had so much fun. And I got to mail all of my uh, packages off. And, and it saddens me because I have like so many packages. But, um, you know, when somebody gets it, they just look and... Oh, just a minute. 